Hello everyone, today I am doing an in-depth faction war guide and I will try my best to cover everything about this mode. I apologize in advance if I forget to mention something. Without further to do, let's get right into the guide. So you finally hit level 15 or you came back after a very long break and decide to try out this new game mode called Faction War. Once you click on the button you will get presented with a useless long text no one cares about. Other than that you have an option to join a faction with a code and if you have no friends then you can also just click the play button on the right side to get thrown into a random faction. Once you have joined a faction you can see 5 planets which have a specific game mode assigned to them, but I will talk about each game mode later in the video. On the bottom left, you see in which faction you are currently in, and if you click on it, you can see how many base credits your teammates have farmed so far, and how many planet tokens they have gotten so far. In total, 20 players can fit into one faction. Also in total there are 8 different factions, and your team is competing with 3 other clans. On the bottom right is the leaderboard, which basically means means nothing really. The score only increases by one when the faction that is holding a planet earns another planet token. Your team won't get any bonus rewards for being number one on the leaderboard. Moreover, if you look at the bottom on your screen, you can see when the war ends. A war can last up to three days. There is also a timer for when the store refreshes, but I will talk about the store later in this video. As I said earlier, there are 5 planets with different game modes displayed. Each planet also has their own milestone, which means if your faction kills 30 bosses for example, in total and not just in one game, then your team will have the planet captured. If another faction reaches the next milestone, then they will have the planet under their control, until your team or the next faction gets to the next milestone of course. The faction icon above every planet is the team that that is currently holding the planet by the way and each planet has their own planet token currency. For now, let's finally talk about the game modes. When you play in these modes, you can earn those C tokens or what we call base credits, which is basically the main currency to use in the faction war armor we saw, which we will talk later about. There are also planet tokens which will be given to the faction that have a planet under their control. Every 6 minutes Assuming you are holding the planet, everyone in your team will get one planet token. Alright, so in the first mode called boss hunt, you have to kill bosses to gain points for your faction and yourself. Every boss killed will give you 30 base credits. Also, every boss will drop random loot, which is nice for early game players. If you want to grind this mode for some reason, you should quit and restart after a few kills, because you get the same amount of credits per boss, but killing each boss will take longer and longer because you get harder bosses and their health will scale over time. Boss hunt is the third best mode to grind base credits on. The second mode is eggs. In this mode you have to run around the map, destroy as many eggs as possible. Some ways are sometimes blocked which can be really annoying but other than that this game mode is the best to grind base credits. You get 15 base credits per egg destroyed. Also in this mode the eggs will have more health from time to time. As as I said before, X is the best mode to grind base credits on. The third mode is terminals. Now this mode is somewhat special because you slowly lose health and you also have to run around to activate those terminals. Standing near them will heal you. Also, zombies have a chance to drop med kits when killed. And again, the more terminals you activate, the more health you lose. You get 10 base credits per terminal and this makes terminals the second best mode to grind base credits on. I may also point out that there's a glitch where you can get up to 4 times credits in this mode, but I won't talk about it in this video. If you are interested in this glitch, then let me know in the comments or just join my discord server. I might also just put some info about it in a pinned comment or description. The fourth mode is generators, and oh boy, where do I even start with this? I don't want to be offensive, but this mode is straight up the worst game mode ever. Why you might ask? You have to want to do 
those generators and stand next to them for 30 seconds to activate them. It wouldn't be that bad if you would get a decent amount of base credits. Well, guess what? You only get 10 base credits per generator activated, which is a lot worse than literally any other game mode. The fifth and with that the final game mode I will be talking about is kills. Here you just have to kill all the zombies that are spawning. It's similar to apocalypse and per 10 zombies killed you get one base credit which makes this game mode being equally also the worst mode in factions. It's basically axe without axe, boss hunt without bosses, generally very boring and annoying to grind. Of course the zombies will get stronger over time but you shouldn't grind this mode for base credits anyways. Again it's it's the worst mode to gather with generators than all other modes. Now let's talk about the faction armory. In the armory shop you can buy stuff like money, strong boxes, black keys and cores, revive tokens, turrets, weapons you can already get from boxes and last but not least weapons and armor which you can only get in this store and nowhere else. Alright so let's talk about how the store works. First of all there are always 10 items in the store which are also randomized so there's no specific order for when these items will appear. The store changes every two weeks so you should have plenty of time to grind for an item if you need to. Anyways with that being said let's talk about the items you should buy. I will link a spreadsheet down in the description below so you can see for yourself which item can appear in the shop and what the cost of every item is. The first item you should focus on buying is optional. It's the, the Festungsbrecher or however you say it. You should only buy this weapon first if if you plan to grind the axe game mode a lot. If you usually get carried or play terminals then don't buy this weapon for now. The next item you should focus on buying is pretty much a must have. I'm talking about the overwatch pants. Those pants are sadly one of the most expensive items but they are really good because first it has the highest heat resistance than any other pants in the game and second it gives a 5% base speed boost and third they are really cheap to upgrade. I should also mention that every faction item is really cheap to upgrade. Now I want to make some honorable mentions for some items you could optimally buy if you want to. If you don't have good armor or armor that isn't 10 to, then you should buy Vulcan, Dynamo or if you really want to, Mako armor sets because they are 10 to and really cheap to upgrade. If you're high level and have the best red armor already then don't buy these. But again if you are low level or mid level player with bad armor or have armor or without correct orcs, then just buy these armor pieces. Vulcan is the best since it's the cheapest at 3500 credits each. Mako is the second best since it gives a pretty high speed and reload bonus but it costs 7500 credits each. And Dynamo is the worst since you lose all energy region below half health but you can still buy it if you really need new armor. After you got everything I have mentioned before, you can pretty much buy anything you want at this point. I should also point out that you should never buy cores or keys because it's easier to get them from nightmare mode and if you buy them in the faction store then you just successfully wasted all your time. But at the end you should decide what's good for you so I won't bother your decision. To make your life easier you should also join discord servers to grind black items with other people because those servers might have helpful tricks that could help you speed up your grind by a lot. When the war ends and you click on the faction button again you should get a screen that shows how many planet tokens you have gotten in your last war. Anyways that's it for this video. I apologize if I forgot to mention something. With that being said thanks for watching.